all right guys so welcome back now let's take the reciprocal for our 111 plane 111 reciprocal which is going to be 1 over 1 1 over 1 1 over 1 which is the same thing as 1 1 1 same way so now let's pick out our point of origin which is here since everything is positive right then let's draw out our plane so on our sorry on our x-axis y-axis and z-axis we have one 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 so by the time we trace it out we have a triangle right so there is one thing i want us to understand in this diagram this triangle is is not going to pass through the pregnant atom which is this guy it's not going to pass through the pregnant atom it's like it's going to it's going to lay backwards in such a way that when we are calculating we'll be exempting the pregnant atom or like this of 110 that slides through the atom this guy never slides through he dodged it like he leaned backwards such a way that that atom never came in contact with it so when we trace let's just trace to make sure that we do not cover the atom right so let's trace so we can understand that yes it leaned backwards in such a way that the atom never touched it good so the next thing we need to do is we need to look for the um angles to know the number of atoms so now this is a triangle right leaning here which is 60 over 360 zero cancel zero one in year one the one in year six which is equal to one over six so since we have one over six of this guy times three of them we have one year one year and one here so three in year one three in year two which is equal to one over two atoms right so now we know the number of atoms all we need is the area of the atom so for the area of our atom excuse me for the area of our atom we go ahead and say let me use a different ink so for the area of the plane it is a triangle so we have half base times height since it's a triangle so our base is down here this is our base down here so we don't know our base but we know this guy is a and we know this guy is also a so yes we are supposed to go ahead and begin to solve but we don't need to stress ourselves because we already found our base previously which is this guy right here so we don't need to solve too much we know our base all we don't know now is our height so if we are to look for our height we apply this right we apply this this is our height that we do not know then our base here that we figured to be um diagonal which is root 2 over a is the same thing as this place because it, it is all sides are equal so this place is also root 2 root 2 a right so that means this place is root 2 a right then for this base which is also root 2 a but now it's going to be root 2 a over two because it is half it is normal for we sliced it into half right here so let's apply our pythagoras um theorem right which says which says root two times a is equal to h square sorry all squared right plus root two dot a over two sorry oh, let me just backward all squared right so we call it like times i guess so coming here two square root two square becomes two so we have a square right minus crosses the plus crosses and become minus root two square is going to give us two then two square will give us four right so two okay let me not jump let me just do this two over four a square is equal to h square so two year one in year two right so we're gonna have h square is equal to 
8 square is equal to 2a square minus a square over 2. Therefore, 8 square is equal to our LCM, which is 2, right? 1 in year 2, 2 times this, sorry. 1 in year 2, 2 times that, we have 4 a square minus 2 in year 1 a square right which is equal to 3 a square over 2 so our h is equal to root of 3 a square over 2 which is equal to whatever we are doing we have a so let's punch that into calculator we have root 3 over 2 which is root 6 over 2 this is our height so let's go ahead and apply our height into the equation so since we know our height let's look for the area of our plane which is 1 over 2 times our base now our base is the total length from year to year right so we're not going to be using divided by 2 we're going to be using root 2 dot a times our height which is root 6 over 2 times a right so let's punch that into calculator to see these two we can call it like terms this is for area of plane area of plane so punching this into our calculator times root 2 we have root 3 so therefore we have 1 over 2 times root 3 a squared which is equal to root 3 over 2 a squared that's the area of our plane all right guys so let's substitute our a into this equation so we we'll go ahead and say sorry let me expand this yeah we we'll go ahead and say root 3 over 2 times what's our a our a is 4 which is squared 4r over root 3 right all squared so by the time we expand it, it's going to become root 3 over 2 times 16r over 3. Therefore, we are going to have root 3 over 6 times 16r. So now let's look for our p planar density for plane 111, which is equal to our number of atoms, which is 1 over 2, divided by our area of plane which is this guy so we're going to go ahead and say root 3 over 6 times 16 r so by the time we flip it over it's going to become 1 over 2 times 6 over root 3 times 16 r 2 in year 1 in year 3 so therefore our planar density for plane 1 1 1 is equal to 3 over root 3 times 16 r all right guys make sure you like comment subscribe and share the youtube video thank you very much midekali here bye and peace out